everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've done something a bit different with my hair today which is why it's gone a bit crazy so we're just going to ignore that for now but today I'm coming to you with my everyday realistic makeup routine. Today is going to be a bit of a two-in-one because I'm going to show you my university makeup routine and then like my other everyday like if I'm actually going somewhere I consider important um so it's a bit of both but I'm gonna be honest, I am no beauty guru, so they are very basic, but I just wanted to show you like what a realistic makeup routine for me is because I know some people spend half an hour on their makeup and that really isn't me. So I have got my trusty makeup bag here with me. I do not use all of these products, I only have them all in here because like, I'm to and from my boyfriend's house all the time so I just keep everything in one place. Um, but I'm going to show you what I do to my face when I get ready. First of all, I'm going to tie this up so I can actually get to my face. So I've already moisturised my face. I moisturised my face with my number 7 anti-wrinkle cream and then some like Aveeno daily moisturiser if it needs a bit of extra help because my forehead is super dry so if I have a shower in the morning it like proper dries out my skin. So I have to moisturise and I'm just going to be taking my very old with no marking on it collection lasting perfection concealer in number one because I still haven't got my tan yet. And I know some people go crazy with this but I literally just put it under my eyes. I've got the mirror down here by the way. And then I have got like a teeny like end of a spot so I'm just gonna like put it next to it and like pat it in. Um, and if it's a spot I usually just use my finger but otherwise I'll use a brush which I'll show you in a second. I should, probably should have washed my brushes before this shouldn't I? Never mind. Um, but all I use is this brush. It's just like a flat foundation brush and this was actually from Wilkinson's like a very long time ago but I just used that to blend in my concealer. I always love watching what faces people pull when they put on like their mascara and stuff it literally tickles me to the core. But yeah that's basically it all blended in um, and then I use my mascara so this is the Their Real Benefit mascara. It's like the limited edition one, so it's got like a bit of a funny top or like a fancy one. Um, but I opened this the other day and I pulled off, you know the bit that like takes off the majority of the mascara? I pulled that off and I've managed to stick it back on. So it's standing on its last legs, but it's still going strong. And then I just put that all over my top lashes. I try to focus it more towards like the outer end of my eyes so like give it a little bit of a lift because otherwise I can feel like I look a bit spider like and then I literally just touch it to my bottom lashes like not much at all. I also don't understand the people that use like multiple mascaras because if I go back over this later on like same day same mascara it goes so clumpy so I really don't understand how you can layer mascaras maybe it's just my eyelashes I don't know. That is all the makeup I do to go to university. This is it. But if I'm going out like with my friends or something for the day, like we're going shopping, I will just add a bit of bronzer and a lip. So my bronzer is, this is the only bronzer I've ever owned. It's the, it's not in English, bronzing powder from Bourjois. It's like the chocolate one. Like everyone had this in like year eight, I'm pretty sure. So I still haven't hit pan and I use this angled brush which is a bit mangled also from Wilkinson's which I bought at the same time and then I just like swirl for a good while I used to only do like a dash but like it doesn't come out so you just swirl it until you've got enough and then I literally I call it feathering because I do it so lightly over the usual contour areas and then I just do that on the other side Whoa, exposure. Oh, also my mum is like stripping the paint off my porch and she is blasting her music to keep her motivated. So if you can hear it, I'm very sorry, but I hope you like her music taste. <laughs> okay, and then I'll put on a lip colour. Now, should we be fancy today? I only ever use two lip colours. Um, well, two variations of lip colour, I should say. I use more than two products. It's either these two together, which are like gorgeous. So my next 
or NYX or whatever you say liquid suede sandstorm and bourgeois 24 hour or oh, 12 hours um, in the shade 30 it really annoys me it doesn't have a name or I just use the Primark lip crayon I feel like we'll use the lip crayon because it's just a bit easier you know um, and this is in the colour I think it's called Uncovered um, and it's the velvet matte lipstick crayon and then I just draw in my lips it's quite pink so it probably won't go with my red top actually I probably should have thought of that so easy and you just colour it in it doesn't last like the longest time in the world but if I'm just going out for like a couple of hours I just completely rub that off um, you don't really need it to last that long and I just tend to pat it to get rid of any excess and that is my realistic everyday makeup routine I don't use any foundation or highlighter I don't do any oh I do have a highlighter actually which I have been using I usually don't because I got this two days ago but I've actually used it so we'll put a bit of this on um, it's the Master Straving Stick by Maybelline in I think it's called Warm Nude medium nude glow um, and it's just just a stick like this um, and I literally just pat that over my highlighting areas and then go and rub it in with my finger and it's just really pretty natural glow but yeah I don't do anything to my eyebrows I don't do um, like any of the other stuff this is it this is all I do so I know that was a very quick video but I hope you enjoyed my realistic makeup routine if you did like it please hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more makeup stuff from a realistic gal then let me know and subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday <laughs>